So we are in an era where the world is changing just so incredibly fast from climate pressure to digitization. Companies need more than good machines these days. They really need good partners. So I wanted to talk to you because Petkus has one of the longest standing names in seed technology. Um, you have been in operation since, am I right, 1852? 1852. I was going to say 1858, 1852. Uh, and you are coming out with, with new technologies all the time. This machine behind me, am I right? Today is its unveiling. It is a new optical sorter never seen before. Today is the day. Okay. Today is the day. That's very exciting. So um, I would love to talk to you about this machine, but what I'd actually rather talk to you about is innovation in general. So um, given how long you've been in the industry and how long Petkus has been in the industry, I thought you'd have good insight on, on innovation. So talk to me about what is the single biggest shift that you're seeing in terms of what seed companies need from a tech partner today? So at the moment, I'd say AI plays a very dominant role. It's not only in the optical sorters you mentioned, um, being the first machine of this type uh, coming out again with AI. It's also in the total process chain. We're looking from the first machine to the last machine where optics and AI are used to analyze each process step to see how well have you done? What has, what has this process brought you as an advantage? And so this is probably the most exciting thing for the moment in our niche. There's innovation at all different levels of the seed industry right now happening at an unprecedented rate. Very exciting. But how do you make sure that innovation is delivering value to your end user and not just trendy or new for new sake? I think very important is to be distributed with our people over the globe. As people do things differently in Brazil than from Australia, than to Asia, then so we in our 14 daughter countries worldwide, we monitor, we speak to the, our clients and we, we try to understand systematically what, what do they need for the perfect C in this question. So talk to me about building trust with, with customers. I know that one initiative that you've invested really significantly in over the last seven years is Pet Kiss Academy. Can you just kind of describe the 10,000 foot view of what that is and what you're trying to achieve? Yeah. It, it started off uh, finding out that we were doing things differently in uh, several parts of the world. And um, so we, we thought of, we wanted to bring customers in from all kinds of the world and finding out how things are done on, for example, uh, handling corn seed or handling soya or sunflower or so. So it started being a little bit academic and then we went more and more using our the 14 affiliations of us, interviewing people and, and bringing thoughts, ideas, and then um, trying to find out common conclusions. We are all amalgamate all the answers we get and try to draw a conclusion and say what is the common denominator and how do we how do we solve this issue so is is the concept to formalize a structure that you can get feedback exactly. from your customers essentially exactly. okay that's, that's exactly the uh, full point uh, the structure to get the feedback and bring it out again okay. not only collect but also bring it out again and like like today as an example with the ISF we are holding seminars with the ISF this would be a typical example of what we do otherwise as well. So, so at how, universities, at so on. So, you're listening, listening directly to your customers through Petkiss Academy. What do you hope in five years will be? We talked about Petkiss having a very long history, but what do you hope will be different about Petkiss in five years because of what you're hearing from your customers? Well, number one, I would really love to see that customers would take Petkus Academy as a reference, as a reference, not maybe the reference, but as a important reference, how seed processing is done. And um, with our technology solutions, we can also give examples um, of benefit 
quality, quality, quality is of course the main issue. And then user friendliness, user friendliness, user friendliness. And if we get those two in balance, I think we're doing a good job. Excellent, sir. It's a pleasure to chat with you. Thank you, Madeline. I like seeing your machine. Yeah. Those shiny machines are always exciting. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? Uh, it's a beautiful Isn't thing. she beautiful? Yeah. <laughs>